Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle channel. Hope everybody's had um, a good weekend, or as good as possible, considering the circumstances. So, um, if you please subscribe to my channel, it's the red and white subscription button, also click the notification vacation and it'll give you every time I upload a video a notification I upload five times a week so let's fire away with uh, the 10 latest travel facts worldwide part five and let's get on with it and um, breaking travelnews.com is where I found uh, the latest information so for more information you can go onto that website um, about what I'm talking about today um, it's also got other information as well um, on events and, and stuff so I'm going to fire away with a carnival breaks ground on a new Miami terminal, Miami uh, may uh, hurt Danny Ella, excuse my pronunciation, Leisure Carver and in Carnival President Chattera Duffy, excuse my pronunciation, used a ceremonial shovels to officially mark the beginning of um, the con contraduction on the uh, 471,000 square foot facility so wow that's really got uh, good news that um, for carnival breaks and the Miami terminal so, fingers crossed, it'll go as well as possible uh, for both companies. Uh, number two, US Virgin Islands clarifies restrictions for mainland uh, for travellers um, through not part of the con contiguous United States travel to the Caribbean destination does not require a passport from the United States citizens arriving from Puerto Rico or the mainland so wow that's really good uh, news um, again um, for US travellers that want to travel from the Virgin Islands and also the country Puerto Rico as well uh, to the US uh, Virgin Islands so, so wow that's really good news good luck with that to both the US Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands at uh, number three Emirates uh, to relaunch service uh, from the UK on Tuesday um, which is tomorrow Emirates will reinstate our boy found passenger operation from the UK from tomorrow so that's really good news um, initially this will um, include a daily flight from London Heathrow and four weekly flights from Manchester so that's really good news for airports Heathrow and to Manchester and to passengers and Emirates um, that want to travel for because either they, it's essential or for business. Um, number four, Wizz Air looks at long term despite big losses in the third quarter. So it is a good news um, for Wizz Airline because it is looking long term um, despite large losses in the third quarter so again good luck and I hope Wiz Hair can get back to normal as soon as possible um, no, at number five Ryanair um, warns it could 
lose nearly 1 billion following unfortunately the COVID-19 impact so um, again it is very bad news for uh, Ryanair but I hope um, again Ryanair will be able to pick up it in the future uh, fingers crossed anyway <laughs> um, when people are allowed to travel again um, other than for business and essential travel um, number seven British Airways uh, to try and verify an app so that's really good news hopefully they can verify their new app and number eight Heathrow launches COVID-19 testing platform so that's really good news um, for Heathrow and uh, the passengers and um, number nine, Amadeus signs um, a brand new Abu Dhabi partnership, uh, so which is really good news uh, for a new partnership in Abu Dhabi and um, in the Emirates. Um, so that's really good news for Abu Dhabi, the partner, and um, Amadeus. I um, hope it does well in the future and last but not least um, we'll hand on a brilliant note with uh, Sheridan Hotels unveils a, a revamped interior design wow that and it looks absolutely amazing on uh, breakingtravelnews.com so um, I would like to say thank you for watching um, and I'll see you tomorrow again at 6.30. Um, again, I love talking about uh, travel and lifestyle. And um, I hope ha everybody's had a brilliant day. And I hope everybody will have a good night um, tonight. And um, I'll see you tomorrow at 6.30 tomorrow. So bye for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.